sitting right here. That's where my Trader Joe's is in there. Very important. Which which? And oh, there's Michael Hughes. Hey, Mikey. Hey, Paulie. How's it going? It's going wonderful. How are you doing, man? Doing very good. Welcome home from paradise. Thank you. Well, it's nice to be back. We kind of live in paradise. Yeah, we do. I mean, look at that's paradise there, isn't it? Look at that. There should be a Dupars in Paradise, don't you think? I think there should be two of them. <laughs> one on either end. So you're almost done with your new album. I am. What's it called? Trying to Come Back Home. And it's all mastered, mixed, wrapped it's up? It's mastered. We haven't done all the artwork yet because you have to take photos for me. Yeah, I'm looking We have to, to do all that kind of good stuff. We're going to go to the cemetery? Yes, we are. We're going to go to the Veterans Cemetery. And take going to get a makeup artist to do your face? Yeah, we're going to try to make me look more like uh, Sean Connery. Yeah, yeah, movie. Yeah. James Bond. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Kind of like what James Bond would look like if he had uh, been a musician. That sounds beautiful. <laughs> well, I'd like to ask you a few quick questions now, just so that the world can get an idea of just what Mikey Hughes is all about. All right. So if you could have, you know the typical questions that, that I like to ask great musicians, if you could have any superpower, what would it be? Um, wow. I would like to have uh, power over, my, uh, over matter. Really? Yeah. I thought you would just go with flying or invisibility or something. No. Power over matter. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, I, yeah. And how would you use that? I mean, uh, uh, I would turn guns into, uh, into uh, pieces of art. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Turn bombs into flower beds. That's nice. Yeah. You're an old hippie, aren't you? Uh, yeah. Because you were in Vietnam. People, I don't know if they know that, you fought in Vietnam. I did. Do you miss it? <laughs> uh, no. No? No, I haven't. Uh, I, I spend enough time thinking about it that uh, I would like to miss it more. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Do I miss it? It's a great question. I've never been asked that. Well, I, you know, I'm a, an interviewer. I've done this before. I, I, I only ask great questions. And if you could be any animal, what animal would that be? Speaking of great questions, there, there's a bird right there. Is that a sign from God? Birds. They fly. It's amazing we haven't killed all the birds. It's amazing to me. What animal would it be? It could be any animal. A dog. A dog? Yeah. What kind of dog? Like a big dog? Golden retriever. Yeah. Maybe a Great Pyrenees. Really? That's more my size. Now, if you had to live anywhere in the world, but it couldn't be America, where would you live? Um, Fiji. Fiji? Yeah. Why Fiji? Because they got incredible waves there. Oh. I love to watch waves and I love the beach. And if you could only have one Beatles album, and you had to give all the other ones away, which Beatles album would it be? Rubber Soul. Rubber Soul. That's when they really became the Beatles to me. Yeah? Yeah. All, all of the songs on there were, were high openers. I agree, they were good. In my life, is still, I think, the number one song in my world. Yeah, great, great album. And pretty much downhill after that, they never really did much good <laughs> after. Yeah, poor guys, they just yeah. dried up. <laughs> well, thanks for taking this time. We're right here at this artisan cheese shop, which has a delicious tuna melt. There it is in there. It's really good in there. Yeah, thank you for lunch. Thank you, Mikey. It's fun to see you. Bye now.